Frank Abrazino with the Uncensored Report. Going to cover a few things. We're going to cover the pineapple drop. We're going to cover the security there. And we're going to cover the timelines for tonight's event. And I got to tell you, if you're going to go to Sarasota, get there early. And I say get there early, folks, because this is a crazy event. People really get there early. They like to get involved in it. Um, it, it, it's, it, it it's a huge event. I know they're only expecting like 25,000 people, but... It, if you see some of the videos that are out there, and I'll try to post some links on here, you'll see it is a packed crowd. Um, the event starts at 1 o'clock in downtown Sarasota. Um, this Merchants Association is ki essentially kicking this off. You're going to see carnival uh, type of stuff. You're going to see snacks, games, amusement rides, all that stuff. Um, that's why I suspect with this type of great weather, that 20, they're not going to be going to the beaches. And I just think 25,000 is a low ball number for the number of people to expect there. Um, a lot of them going there to see the pineapple. And you may ask, well, why the pineapple? And essentially, the Merchants Association, the director out there, Ron Soto, said because it's an international sign of hospitality in Sarasota. It's a very hospital place. Now, SPD, um, they got a plan for security. Um, a Venice High School graduate, a friend of mine, Lori Jurask, Captain Lori Jurask now. And it's funny because the... I'm friends with the VPD captain, Mike Rose, and I went to high school with him. And whenever I call him Mike and he's in uniform, he's like, Frank, it's captain. Lori doesn't do that, though. Lori's awesome, though. Um, I, SPD, hey, kudos to you guys. I really like a lot of the people on the SPD. Um, and I don't know what it is. I like uh, the Pino. Never met her personally, just a lot of her actions. And I know Lori. I see her always out there. She's a great person. Um, actually, I, and I think she was looking after my back one day when I was at a vicious crowd of people that were not too happy to see me there. So they got the security. She says, don't worry about it. They're, um, like I said, they're expecting 25,000 people. I think there's going to be more, but they feel they're in charge of it. Um, after the terror attacks and some of the signs and um, things occurring in New York City and Las Vegas, you know, the events all across in Europe. Uh, she says we got the barricades. We got the big barricades, uh, public work trucks in different intersections. Um, the, my only concern is the barricades. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but they've been. There was a test that came out sh illustrating how they could not stop trucks. And if I find the link, I'll put it up here. Um, that is my only concern. And they found that they basically were worthless. They were more of given the individuals a warm feeling of security instead of actually being secure. Uh, so you'll have police officers out there that will be in uniform and some that will not be in uniform, as you can imagine, once people start getting drunk and their beer and wine and out liquor will be flowing. If you look, at, I was looking at certain videos when I came up with this one, and they're in abundance out there where uh, people are just drinking and partying. And it looks like a great time. Um... So they'll be out there patrolling, trying to ensure everybody's safety. They said wanted to recommend that you leave all your valuables at home. If you're going to put them in your car, conceal them. Uh, don't leave them out in the open. Uh, what else they got there? They said basically just enjoy yourself and don't be an idiot out there. Now the fireworks will begin. The fireworks are going on uh, thanks to Marina Jack, Suncoast Charities for Children. Um, in Sarasota Bayfront, that goes from 11 to 1. They said viewing is free. You can basically see it from anywhere downtown um, to just to see these fireworks that are going on. And that's really all that Marina Jacks put out about that event. So it looks like a fun-filled event. Hopefully you guys can get out there and enjoy it. Who knows? I might go out there. It looked great. Um, that's an idea. Maybe I'll go down there and then go to do a dinner somewhere down there. All right, everybody, this has been Frankie Abrazino with the Uncensored Report. Mm -hmm.